happy Sunday morning to you and a happy early Valentine's Day. Yes. Amen. Oh, I got a little red on. So anyway, <laughs> just wanted to say an early happy Valentine's Day yes. to all. Amen. I know we got three three more days to go. But we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. All those all of you that are joining us by watching or by hearing us, we want to welcome you. All we ask you to do is just be ready because God's got something special for you. Amen. Amen. Every time I come and sit, every time we, we, we come together, God has something for you. Yes. And you got to be ready. Amen. Amen. Sometimes he wants to bless you. Sometimes he wants to change you. Sometimes he may want to uh, uh, just, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, reprimand you. Mm. Um, admonish. Admonish you. <laughs> encourage you. Yes. Correct you. Yes. yes, that comes from our Father. Amen. Amen. He's our Heavenly Father. Because we're His children. Amen. Amen. If you don't know you're a child of God, you need to get born again. Amen. You're born again. <laughs> Once you get born again, don't call yourself a sinner anymore. Yes. I'm getting way ahead of myself. But don't call yourself a sinner anymore. And don't see yourself this way. Amen. You're a child of God. Once you get born again, He's your Heavenly Father. And we're his children. He calls us children. So don't go around calling yourself a sinner anymore. Amen. Right. We may fall short. But you say, Father, I fall short. I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. I confess it and I repent. Amen. Yes, amen. So praise God. And guess what? He'll forgive you every time. Amen. Amen. Okay. He's a forgiving father. And of course, we're going to be talking about love. Amen. amen. <laughs> so praise God. So prepare yeah. yourselves to, to receive. Amen. And he has something special for you. Amen. amen. Don't blame him. Don't worry about who's. Next to you, who's not hearing it, you're hearing it. Okay? Amen. So I'm going to receive it. Amen? Say, I'm yes, receiving it. I I'm receive receiving it. it. So praise God. Yes. You are receiving it. Yes. Hallelujah. You. I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself here. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan ahorita por audio, por video. Y los invitamos a nuestro servicio en español esta, esta noche, esta tarde, con el hermano Oscar Cobos. Y los amigos que vengan y. y Y escuche. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Anyway, praise God. God is good. Yes, Before we get going, grab your swords, grab your Bibles. Yes. I got my little Bible. <laughs> Guess what? It's a little Bible. Uh -huh. It's got a powerful word. Uh -huh. Still, the word is the same. Amen. Amen. People may see you as an individual. You know, when we come together, we're a big body of believers. Yeah. But you have more power than Satan. Amen. Says he's given you authority. Yes. Amen. So don't see yourself small. See yourself big in him. Amen. You know, when David looked at the giant, he didn't say, well, I'm too little to fight this giant. He uh -huh. says, my God is bigger than you. Who do you think you are? Yes. You know? Thank you. I'm coming against you and with my God. He's backing you. Know who's backing you. Amen. Amen. He's backing you. Yes. God is backing you. You're a child of God. Amen. Yeah, so, yeah. small Bible, but big God. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> let's say it together. Grab your swords and let's say it together. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the God. I'm bold in defense. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. I want to change from glory to glory, from day to day, from moment to moment. Amen. We want to grow. We've been talking about this. We want to grow spiritually. Yes. We want to don't want to stay spiritual babes all our lives. Amen. That's right. And we don't want the enemy to keep us on a run. We want to put him on a run. Amen. Amen. We have authority, but we have to use his word. Amen. Yes. And we got to get it in us. We got to get that milk, and then we go into the meat of the word and get it in us so it can come out. It'll come out. Amen. It's in there, and when you open your mouth to get it out, I know some of you can can talk. Okay, so. <laughs> Get it out. Don't hold it in. You know when the word works? When you release it. Amen. So we got to release it. Okay. You keep it in us all the time. That's right. Oh, yeah. Reminder. Remember, church and I is worth the drive. Yes. All those of you that are watching or listening, come. Hallelujah. This is a church and I. Amen. We teach the word. His word, not our word. Amen. So praise God. God has a great message for us. And of course, we're going to be talking about the Father's love. Mm. Or we're gonna it'll be a Valentine's message for you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Let me take these off so I can read. <laughs> uh, there you go. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm. It says we love and let us love one another. For love is of God. Amen. Amen. Love is of God. First John 4, 7. And of course 8 tells us that God is 
and love. Yeah. Amen. God is love, and we're gonna we're gonna get there. Let me read all my little notes I have here for myself. <laughs> says, of course, this is my Bible. Yeah. When I was writing that down, I thought about this. <laughs> the B-I-B-L-E. Mm -hmm. How many of you remember reciting that? The B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for you. The no. The B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. For me. Amen. <laughs> you stand on the word of God. Amen. You stand on it. Yeah. It's you. You got to get it in you. Amen. <laughs> that's the book for me. That's the word of God. Yes. Praise God. So Amen. anyway, if you just join us, happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> the Father and Jesus shows their passion. Yeah. This Valentine they know that the Father and Jesus, they have a passion for you. The Father had a passion. He gave us mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. The best Valentine ever given. Mm -hmm. He loved us so much. You can use we're gonna use the word passion and we're gonna use the word love. Amen. Amen. So just remember that. Whew, hallelujah. Go to the next next slide. There we go. Valentine, a Valentine for God. For God so loved the world. This is our text right here. For God so loved the world, us, so much he gave us and sent Jesus, his only son, so that everyone who believes in him would not be lost, but have an everlasting life. This one says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life and of course it's just lined up it spells <coughs> valentine <laughs> awesome praise god so this week and once a year we celebrate valentine's day we celebrate by sending cards flowers candies sometimes gifts and sometimes we have dinner to a friend to a girlfriend boyfriend a sweetheart or your spouse amen just to let them know they're special let them know that you love them and you know, you shouldn't uh, forget that. Most important, we must remember and not forget. And say thank you to our Heavenly Father Amen. for sending, for giving, and sending us the best Valentine ever. His yes. Son, Jesus Christ. Yes. This Valentine, this gift, we can celebrate on a daily basis. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> you just don't put God on the shelf. For a whole year and bring him out. <laughs> on Valentine's Day or oh, Thanksgiving Lord. Day or Christmas <laughs> or Easter. <laughs> no, daily. Spend time with him. This is how you're going to grow. This is how you're going to grow. Well, he never talks to me. Well, open your Bible once in a while. <laughs> open your Bible and write on it, mark it, highlight it, and make it personal for yourself. Amen. But read. Spend time with him. This is how we're going to grow. We got to grow spiritually. If we're not growing spiritually, you're no match to the enemy. That's He's right. a full-time devil. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Amen. He'll have you every time. Amen. So we just can't just be hearers. We got to be hearers and doers of the Word of God. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Father, Jesus shows their passion. We've been studying passion this year. We've been studying about being passionate for the Word and confessing the Word. Mm -hmm. Change the way we talk. Amen. Yes. And we're uh, also saying this not only on our Sunday morning services, but we've been studying this on our Bible study on Wednesdays. Amen. Yes, amen. Talking about passion, love. So you ask me what is passion, I'm glad you asked. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Passion is what the Father did by sending yes. his son. Amen. Passion is what Jesus did by coming, knowing he was going to be sacrificed, but still came. Yes. And gave us all. Amen. You know, and it daily renewing his mind, daily spending time with the Father. <coughs> Father, I need your help. I need your strength. Mm -hmm. If Jesus needed his Father's strength, guess what? <coughs> so do we. Yeah. And then we don't match to the enemy without him. It's a spiritual battle on a daily basis. And if you don't renew your mind and study the word, you don't match. That's because right. the flesh, you can't fight the spirit in the flesh. That's right. It's a spiritual battle. You got to get in the word. Feed your spirit. Confess the word. Reach, uh, renew your mind with the word of God. And crucify the flesh. Because the flesh just wants to take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get a comfort zone. You know the little comfy zone? Mm -hmm. We don't have to do any much. We just want to hang out there. You know. Mm -hmm. But it's time to move on. Passion is what mobilized the body of Christ into yeah. action. Amen. I like this. I spent 20 plus years in the military. And I love. I love passion. I had passion. I was ready to be mobilized on a daily basis. Every time 
we're in the body of Christ now. We're in God's army, and He can mobilize us anytime. Are you ready? Yes. Be ready. <laughs> we got to be prepared. We got to be ready. Mm -hmm. Says to put on the whole armor of God on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. He didn't say take it off. He says right. be ready. Have the armor on. Yes. Because the enemy comes. He comes as a what? As a roar oh, lion seeking whom he may devour. Oh, yeah. Are you going to allow yourself? No. Don't allow yourself. Don't allow yourself. Amen. He also says in John 10 10, he says, the enemy, the devil comes to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, you know, I've come that you might have life and life more abundantly. Amen. So, still, there is an enemy out there. His name is Satan. Passion is what caused the apostles to boldly go. And follow him. Yes. He told the fishermen, <laughs> make it a living. He says, come, follow me. You know, they dropped what they were doing and they followed him. <laughs> you ever think about that? <laughs> Wonder what dad says. Where's my son going? <laughs> He's gone. He's following that man over there. Mm -hmm. What about you, you know? My folks got upset when I gave my life to Christ. Mm. Of course, they didn't know any better. Until afterwards. They saw results. And then they called every time they needed prayer. Every time they needed prayer, mm -hmm. they would call. Mm -hmm. Passioners will cause Christ to spend late hours mm -hmm. preparing yeah. to fulfill his mission by passionately spending time with the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. Passion is what takes a normal born-again believer and turns them into a supernatural passionate follower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On fire, sold out to God, mm -hmm. and ready to complete their mission. Mm -hmm. Ready for action. <laughs> yeah. Anytime you get up, spend time with Him, prepare yourselves. Mm -hmm. Because once you step out the door, you better be ready for action. Yes. Or action is going to have you. <laughs> the enemy is going to have you. The world's going to have you. Amen. You got to be ready. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Passion will not allow them to be silent. Passion will not allow them to cower down and hide. Don't have to do that anymore. Mm -mm. You don't give up. You don't quit. It's time to press on. Yeah, that's right. Passion is what inspired them to say, we obey God rather than men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Passion would not allow them to seek a comfort zone. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to take off today. <laughs> I'm going to take off this year. I'll see you next year, God. <laughs> Passion is what got them through hard times. If you think it's just going to be easy and comfy, <laughs> it's not. Amen. If that's where you're at, it's time to press on. He says, press on. Yeah. Move on. Amen. It's not time to camp out. That's right. <laughs> Passion is what kept them going when others fell by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Amen. So be careful who you hang out with. Mm -hmm. Amen. You might hang out with them. You heard about hanging out with skunks? <laughs> no, Jesus. <laughs> you no. hang out with skunks mm -hmm. when you start smelling like that. Yeah. Huh? And the world's going to rub up on you. The world's going to rub up on you. And then, <laughs> these guys are moving to a party. <laughs> you have to renew your mind constantly Amen. to the things of God because you're going to hear negative things yeah. all the time. Uh, you're going to hear bad news. You go into the world, that's all you're going to hear is bad news. Oh, yeah. You get tired of that. You yeah. have the good news, ain't you? You yeah. got to get the good news, and you got to share the good yeah. news. Amen. Amen. Share the good news. Passionate people love and live committed lives. Mm -hmm. They practice their faith with joy and enthusiasm. <coughs> Passionate people stay stirred up. Yes. <laughs> Passionate people stay hungry. He wants to feed you all the time, but are you hungry? Are you ready to take more? He's ready for you. We got to be ready. God yeah. is calling you today to be a passionate, passionate follower for him. Yes. You know, you can't just say, well, pastor or sister or brother so-and-so, they're always passionate. Well, what's keeping you? What's stopping you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got to stay straight up. You got to yeah. stay hungry. Yeah. Maybe. Lord, I need you. You mm -hmm. got to stay full. If you're not filled with him or his word, you're going to be filled with the with the world. Mm -hmm. And the world's going to have you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God wants to use you, but you got to be ready. Yeah. You got to get it in you, the, the word in you, mm -hmm. for it to come out. He says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers yeah. of living water. Well, you know, I didn't know that was in me. <laughs> Guess what? Mm -hmm. When you get yourself full of the word, you take that faith in you. 
and the fear comes out mm -hmm. and the faith is in so next time you step out you're stepping out in faith and you stop saying well I can't do that mm -hmm. I don't know how to do that mm -hmm. God will never use me <laughs> he wants to use you he just wants you to get filled and ready and prepared so you can go. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Go for him. Go for him. Praise God. Yeah. Anyway. So John 3.16. Let me see the next slide, please. Malachi's blessings for God so loved the world. Our text. The uh, world he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16. Yeah. May your day be full of love. This is not just on Valentine's Day. That's right. This is on a daily basis. Amen. On a daily basis. You make that choice. Well, you don't know where I live. You don't know where I go. <laughs> well, you don't know your God. That's right. You need to know your God. Amen. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. Right? He says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. So what's holding you? What's keeping you? Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Is I told you, next time you stand in front of the mirror, you got to deal with this problem here. Mm -hmm. You got to get, get yourself right and say, you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. You have authority over him. Yes. Amen? And I'm going to press on with him. Amen? I'm going to get ready to be mobilized, to be mobile. Amen? Mm -hmm. So back to Valentine. Most Valentines have hearts on them. Flowers have hearts on them. They used to represent love. Valentine's is a nice way to say, I love you. Hmm. Of course, you just don't have to give a Valentine with a heart on it. That's you right. can say it on a daily basis. Yes. Just say, I love you. I love you, Lord. Amen. Just say it. First John 4 he says, Anyone who does not <laughs> does not love does not know God because God mm -hmm. is love. Amen. <laughs> That's right. But you don't know this person. <laughs> you don't know that person. You don't know what situation I'm in. Mm. Well, you don't know what situations Jesus was in. Mm. He was in a lot worse situations than we were. Yeah. But he always, he says he forgave mm -hmm. and he forgot. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have the same situations coming against us. But we need to if you don't if you don't have this right now, first thing you gotta do is you gotta get saved. Huh. And let that love of God come in. Yes, right. Or just repent and say, I need to renew myself. Mm. You know? Come in me. I want your love. I want your love to flow through me. You 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 you're his vessel. You're his child. And you know how he's gonna reach the world? Through you. <laughs> For God so loved the world, he sent Jesus. But now he's sending you yes. to represent him. I didn't want to say this now, but I'll say it now. <laughs> You're the closest thing to the Bible some people will ever get close to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they'll see you. And they'll see your words. They see your actions. Mm -hmm. And you're the closest thing. They may never ever step into a church mm -hmm. or pick up a Bible and open a Bible, but they'll see you. Mm -hmm. And what's coming out of you? What are you saying? What are you doing? Your words, your actions. And they'll see it. And they'll say, you know, I've been watching you and I want what you've got. I like what you represent. Who do you represent? Jesus. Love. Passion. Amen. Have a relationship with your Heavenly Father. Daily. On a daily basis. Constantly. You can do that all day long, you know. And when you're by yourself, speak up. You don't have to hold it in you. You know, if you're by yourself, speak to him. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. We must learn this. God is love. Imitate him. He says we must be imitators of him. God is love. His love is in you. <laughs> Second Corinthians 5, 17 says this. And, and all these things we know, but you know what? We renew these things yes. all the time. Amen. For if a man belongs to Christ, this is a new life version. Mm -hmm. He is a new person. The old life is gone. The new life has begun. We are his love children. <laughs> we are new creatures in Christ. We are his love creatures. <laughs> we are his children. If he's our Heavenly Father, we're his children. Don't call yourself a sinner anymore. And don't let nobody call you a sinner. We may fall and come short. But still, you confess and repent. And press on. 
Don't ever say to somebody said, uh, once you've sinned, he can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to sit mm -hmm. and stay there the rest yeah. of your life. Mm -hmm. And you may be there yeah. for a long time. That's right. Don't let nobody or no thing hold you and stop you from doing the mission God sent you to do. Amen. He sent you to do a mission, fulfill a mission, and he gave you everything is in you. Yes. So don't let somebody say it or some person stop you from fulfilling Amen. what God has called you to do. That's right. Amen. Amen. You got to know this. You have a relationship with him one-on-one -on -one, and let him talk to you Amen. and say, you know what? I know what you did. Confess it. Repent and press on. Get up. Yeah. Why are you still there? Why are you still there? Mm -hmm. Why are you still sitting there? Why are you moping? Mm -hmm. Why are you upset? Why are you so sad? Mm -hmm. God has not given us sadness. He's given us love, mm -hmm. joy, strength. You know, to continue to press on to fulfill what He's called us to do. He doesn't want us <laughs> sitting there. Amen. You know, um, I'm just directed by His Holy Spirit. So. Those of you watching, those of you that are listening, now is a good time when you're moping around and you don't know who you are in Christ. <laughs> yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. We've given out some handouts. We got them out there. Uh, listen to this. I gave you this first, first, first of the year. I encourage you this year and daily send your words out in a positive direction. Yeah. Speaking positive confessions over your life by choosing to change your say-sos, your I am's. Don't accept defeat and don't give up. Change the words you speak and don't be hung by the tongue. You know? Since I was little, since you were little, and it's still in your head, but don't let it control you. You're no good. You never amount to anything. You're not qualified for this. The world tells you that on a daily basis. You're not good enough for this. You're not qualified for this. You know, we can't use you. <laughs> you know, you're not approved. God has already approved you. Yes. Why are we waiting for the world Amen. to approve us? Amen. You're a child of God. Yeah. Don't wait for the world. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, he can change the world around you through you. Yes. So don't wait for the world. Hallelujah. Know that he has already called you, equipped you, and approved you. Amen. 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 And sometimes... Your only relationship is with him. But listen to this. I am blessed. I'm a winner. I'm prosperous. I'm strong. Well, I never say those things. You know, so why you been confessing all these negative things then? Because you can have what you say. Mm -hmm. Jesus, God, his word, the creator. He says they go out and complete what I send them to do. Mm -hmm. So words are carriers. They carry positive or negative. They carry life or they carry death. And words are seeds. And those seeds you send out, they grow. <clears throat> they go out and they grow. <clears throat> so why not send the good seed, the good things? I'm blessed. I'm prosperous. I'm strong. I'm healthy. I'm talented. I'm creative. I'm faithful. I'm secure. I'm disciplined. I'm focused. I'm attractive. I'm valuable. <laughs> I'm an overcomer. I am more than a conqueror. Amen. Amen. <laughs> The right people are in my future. The right opportunities are headed my way. Mm -hmm. I've accom I accomplished my dreams. I will overcome every obstacle. This is my year for breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I am God's favor. I can do all things through yes. Christ. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Amen. Why don't you send your words out and speak this way instead of speaking negative? Mm -hmm. yes. You're speaking to a lot of God. You're talking about a God that loves you. But listen to this. When you begin to say positive say-sos or I am's over your life, you will never be the same. God will bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Yes. Get ready for God to do the impossible through your life. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Enjoy. See, don't keep confessing the same things over and over and going through the same things over and over. That's insane. You're yeah. doing the same things over and over and expect different results. We got to change the way we talk. Amen. They also have the I am list over there. I'm a child of God. I'm redeemed. I'm forgiven. I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm justified. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. I am led by the Holy Spirit. 
I'm delivered from the power of darkness. Uh -huh. mm, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Amen. Yes. Amen. There's powers out there. But God's power is stronger. Yes. yes. And he's given us authority to yes. speak over there. By his stripes I'm healed. You know this is a season? <laughs> well, every season, I guess every, 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 every month, every day is a season where, you know, there's a new sickness going out. Oh, so, well, I tell you, I always catch it. Uh -uh. Why'd you catch it? You know, I see it go by. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> go away. Yes. No. Listen. Just confess. Confess his word. It says, by his stripes I'm healed. Amen. I don't care what your body's telling you. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God. He's Amen. created me. He knows my body. So I just speak to my body. I speak healing over my body. Every organ, every tissue, every muscle, every joint in this body. To be obedient to what the word of God says. Yeah. Body, obey the word of God. And be healed. I call you healed. I call you healed. I receive his healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, we're so faithful to confess the negative and say, it's out there and I know I've got it. Because I've got all the symptoms right now, you know. We're so faithful in confessing those things. Why can't we just turn it around and say, yeah. by his stripes I'm healed. Yeah. I don't receive That's your right. sickness. That's right. Amen. I'm not going to be taken down by the enemy. Amen. That's right. So, Amen. Maybe going around, but uh, I ain't receiving it. That's right. <laughs> go somewhere else. That's right. And then we can go minister to them. Amen. <laughs> Romans 5 5 says, And this hope we have, we will never, uh, will never disappoint us. We know <clears throat> this because God has poured out. His love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, every believer gets a dose of love from God Amen. <laughs> on a daily basis, yes. on a daily walk in life. Yeah. <laughs> we are His loving children. Yes. We must love, accept, and forgive. Amen. So you have the, 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 the love of God has been shared brought in the hearts by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's there. It is there. Amen. We just need to Get in tune with him, and we can start obeying what his word says. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Again, John 4, 7 and 8 says this. Dear friend, let's continue to love one another. Mm -hmm. For love comes from God. Anyone who loves is born of God and knows yeah. God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Mm -hmm. We're talking about God's love. Mm -hmm. We're talking about there's different types of love. And his being number one, we'll just touch on his mm -hmm. love. And that's agape love. Yes. Amen. Unconditional love. Mm -hmm. We have love. Conditional love. Yes. I love you if there's conditions. Mm -hmm. Whatever your condition happens to be. Mm -hmm. But God's love for us is unconditional. Yes. He sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. Jesus came and used agape love and gave himself out. He gave himself, yes. allowed himself to be crucified. Yes. Amen. So as believers, we must also, we must imitate him. We uh, get to know our loving father through relationship and we must imitate him. And uh, you know what? Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go to Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. I know we're all familiar with this, but we need to read it, come together and encourage one another and just get into the word and allow his word to just have us and take us. Amen? Yeah. It's Ephesians, Ephesians, Ephesians. 5, 1 and 2. Ephesians 5. Be ye there, be there, be therefore followers of God. We are followers of God. We're, believe, we're, we're also called believers. Yes. Amen. Amen. As dear children. See, there goes the children again. Yep. As children. <laughs> He's our Heavenly Father. We're His children. And number two says what? Walk in, Walk in love. love as Christ also has loved us and has given Himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. savor. Amen? So praise God. Amen. That's what we do. We imitate Him. You know, I've had so many people argue 
and say, well, you know, this is just the way I am. Nothing can change me. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to change for anybody. I'm going to be like this, and I'm going to be hateful and ugly and anything else. <laughs> mm. But this is the way. Nothing can change me. Mm. They don't have the Word. They don't have the love of God. They That's haven't right. been born again. That's right. <laughs> Because they don't have the Father. They don't have the love of the Father in them. The Holy Spirit has not brought that love of the Father to them. We need to confess Him as Lord and Savior. That's accept right. Him as Lord and Savior. For what He's done for us. He's paid the price. You know, Father sent Jesus and Jesus paid the price. He did not own. And what I would did, then I can't pay. But I can give myself back to Him and say, Father, I'm here. You've approved of me. You sent me on this mission. So I'm here to fulfill what you've called me to do. Yeah. Every one of you is special. He loves you so much. And you're so special to him. that he put you on this mission. But he wants you to fulfill this mission. Amen? Amen. Yeah. So know this much. Let me read it from what I've got here. Ephesians 1 and 2 says this. i got in parentheses. What would Jesus do? <laughs> ah. Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do. Why? Because you are his dear children. Says salvation, you're his child. If you want to call yourself anything, call yourself a child of God. Amen. I'm not, you can't call yourself a sinner of God, but you're a child of God. Yeah. It makes people mad. Yeah, it does. Makes the enemy mad. You want to make anybody mad, make the devil mad. Yeah. God bless. Make God, the devil mad, and God glad. Amen. Says, Lord, I'm your child. He gets upset, and you know what he'll do? Only thing he can do is just walk away from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what he wanted him to do, to get run from us. Yes. <laughs> the Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Stay. No, flee. flee. Right. He'll flee. No. He'll flee. 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 Flee means he'll run away. <laughs> I want him to run away. Stay away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Verse 2 says, live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. Amen. He loves us. And offer himself as a sacrifice for us. A pleasing aroma to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. To God. He offered himself to God. Before he offered himself to God. He says this. And you know this already. He says, Father, forgive them. They just sacrificed the Son of God. And Jesus is saying, Father, forgive them. So guess what God is going to do? Mm -hmm. He's going to forgive you. He's going to forgive us. He forgave us. <laughs> Amen. So know this, those of you that are watching and listening, if you haven't accepted Jesus, now is the time. Just say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I know I'm a sinner. I repent, but come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he'll never turn you down. That's right. He won't turn you down. You know, he's not going to say no. <laughs> not this time. Mm -hmm. People will fail you, but God never fails. That's right. Amen. He will always accept you. And that's why we tell you, whoever God sends, it's time for their salvation. Amen. It's time for them to say, it's time to come home. It's time to come home. It's time to come to Christ. It's time to fulfill what he's called you to do. You know, the worst thing to say is, to do is to be in front of him when you go home, when you go back to him and say, he'll ask you, why did you not fulfill? Or why did you not use what I gave you? And what are you going to say? I was afraid. Mm -hmm. I feared. You know, I wanted to please the world. I wanted to please the crowd. I wanted to please my friends. So I pleased my friends or the world more than I wanted to please you. You need to be so now. You need to just say, put it all aside. You know, he's going to give you new friends. Mm -hmm. He's going to give you a new walk. Yeah. He'll do it. He'll take care of you. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. We to imitate to follow. You want a role model? Follow Christ. Biggest, greatest role model you can have. Copy his actions, his appearance, his character. Yes. His, amen. God made you an original. <laughs> God made you an original. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try to copy anyone else. That's Don't try right. to be like the world. That's all right. Be who God created you to be. Amen. People want to change you. You want to change to be like somebody else. God is pleased with the way you are. He made you this way. Just hook up with him and receive him and be what he wants you to be. 
but the world when you when you don't have this relationship going you feel like you're empty and you try to find this feeling from the world and this world is not going to feel the emptiness you have until you accept Christ then you feel like you're full and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me otherwise you feel like I just don't feel happy with myself I don't like myself you're going to have this emptiness you need him Amen. Amen. We need Him. We need Him. Be the original He made you to be. Mm -hmm. You know you're lovely just the way you are. If your friends don't like you the way you are, <laughs> just be sold out to Christ. Uh, He'll send you the friends you need. Yeah. <laughs> He'll send you the friends you need. Amen. And you know these friends are going to be around and stick with you. That's right. The other friends are conditional. Oh. And they'll stay only if, as oh. long as you're supporting them, Giving them, <laughs> you know, well, mm -hmm. let me see. Gives me back to my other list here. <laughs> I don't have anything to give, Pastor. Well, I'm glad you said that. Mm. Now I'll tell you. Live to give. And every time we talk gift, you know, you start thinking about, well, oh, here we go. He wants us to give more money. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to what I have to say here. Yeah. Today is your day to give on a daily basis. For God so loved the world, He gave. Yeah. On a daily basis, today is the day that you give. Even if your bank account is a zero, mm -hmm. finances are not the only thing believers or followers have to give. That's right. Followers have more to give. And of course, John 3 16 will be in our text. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Luke 6, 38 says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Mm -hmm. This is something God put in motion. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall man put into your bosoms. For with yes. the same measure you give, it will be measured back to you. Mm -hmm. So listen to this. That's love right <laughs> and there. And I'll just, huh? That was love right there. Yes, amen. That's love right there. Give, according to God, see, here it says, <coughs> Givers live longer. How many of you want to live long? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he says he also loves a cheerful giver. So if you're going to give, be cheerful about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't give with a frown. <laughs> I say, you know, just keep it. <laughs> just hold on to it. Be cheerful about it. Amen? Yeah. Well, let me say this. If I don't have finances, what can I give? Give of yourself. Mm -hmm. Give of your love. Give of your passion. Give of your time. Give of your heart. Yeah. Give of your compassion. Give of your emotion. Give out a thank you. <coughs> That's so hard to find anymore, you know. Give out a cheerful attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, you can't go <laughs> you can't go anywhere with a bad attitude. Mm. <laughs> You got to change it before you get out there. There's too many bad attitudes out there already. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to change that before you go into it. You, you know, if you get yourself right with God on, on a daily basis and often, that frown is going to turn into a smile. Yes. Amen. You got too many frowns out there already. Mm -hmm. You got to, when you have a smile on people, it just makes people curious about <laughs> asking, you know. Why are you always you? They get mad because they always have a frown on. Uh -huh. Well, give your frown a break. Amen. Give appreciation. Give encouragement. Give honor. Give happiness. Give hope. Mm -hmm. Give a prayer. Mm -hmm. You see people hurting. <laughs> you see people in, in need. You have a prayer to give. You're a follower of Christ. Mm -hmm. Why well, don't we have anything to give? First thing you think about is my wallet. Mm -hmm. Where's my money? Where's my purse? Mm -hmm. No. Give a smile. Mm -hmm. Give a thank you. Give a kind word. Mm -hmm. Those things are hard to find now. You know, open the door for somebody. I enjoy these things. You know, even if they don't say nothing back. Amen. I've already settled this with him. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this under you, Lord. You know, when I... <laughs> and this is not bragging on me. This is bragging on my God. 
when I do work in church, when I do work anywhere, I always do it as if he's going to be there. And if I'm there, I know he's there. Mm -hmm. But I clean because I love him. He's going to be here. So I'm going to do my best because I know my God's going to be here. Yeah. And I do it under him. When you do this, you become committed, you become faithful in the things you do for him. Yes. Because I'm doing it under him. Whether it's small or big, mm -hmm. I'm going to do my best. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. Whether people say thank you or not. Mm -hmm. I've already I've already settled this with him. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's blessing me. He's the one that's going to pay me yes. and pay me. Amen. He's already done it all. He's already paid this price. So I've already settled this. He's already said, thank you, son. He's blessing you often. Yeah. So when you do it, do it under him. Yes. And so Praise God. It's just a, it's just a blessing. It's a blessing to give. Amen. It's a blessing to give. Come on in. So give, give, give. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, we do have this on our rack up there. If you don't have them, those are good things. You know, it's not just mm -hmm. finances that you give. You give That's up right. yourself. Mm -hmm. Jesus yeah. gave himself. Yeah. God gave Jesus. Jesus gave himself. And you give yourself. Amen. Amen. So. I gotta say this before we close. We love one another. A new commandment he's given us. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. This is a new commandment he's given us. I'm giving you a new commandment. Mm -hmm. Love each other just as I have loved you. Yes. You should uh, love each other. Amen. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples or you are my followers. Amen. This is a new commandment to love one another. <laughs> Being military, believe me, I know what a commandment is, what a command is. When, uh -huh. the, when, it, when the top boss says, we have a new command out, you just don't say, well, he's just suggesting we do this. <laughs> a command is a command. Amen. Amen. So he wants us to love one another. We have to love one another just like the Father loves us, unconditional. Not only in church as we assemble, but outside these four walls. Mm -hmm. Out there, <laughs> well, we all have different mission fields, different jobs to go and be his missionaries, be his ministers of reconciliation, yeah. be his ambassadors, his mouthpiece out there in your area yeah. of work, in your area of life that you go to. Yes. Amen. There is where it shows. Amen. That's why it's got to be in you. Mm -hmm. Not just in here, nice, lovey-dovey place. <laughs> mm -hmm. But when you go out into the world. Amen. You know, you go out there into them sharks out there. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> them wolves out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen to this. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Amen. Yes. You know, he hears and doers of the word. Amen. Watch your words and your actions. People don't care until they see how much you care, how much you love, how much passion and compassion is coming from you. They see Christ in you. Amen. Amen. They'll see the Bible. Say, wow, you're a walking Bible. Going somewhere to happen. Amen. Amen. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> Write that down. I never heard that before. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah. Believers must love, accept, forgive, and care for each other. Others as well as the world. Remember, and this is where I got way ahead of myself, you are the closest Bible some people will ever come close to, to read, or to see. Yes. Amen. Watch your words and your actions. We'll close there. Amen. Correct your words. And that's where the I am list comes in. That's where the say so's come in. That's where your give list comes in. Right priorities and press on. Matthew 6, 33. Seek Him first. Get your priorities straight. Yeah. Uh, Philippians, the last one. Go to the next one. The well, that's uh, Matthew 6, 33. Seek Him first. Mm -hmm. His kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. And the last one, 
is Philippians 3, 12 through 14. On a daily basis, verse 12 through 14 says, Not that I have already obtained all these, this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. And 13, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgiving what is behind and straining or pressing towards what is ahead, I press towards the goal to win the prize for which Christ, for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeah, yeah. This is this is awesome. That's from the NIV. But that is it. We want to be walk the walk, talk the talk, and be hearers and doers of His word. Amen. This is on a daily basis. Amen. Let the past go. Press on with the things of God. He's calling you to be His ambassador. He's calling you to be His uh, minister of reconciliation and bring the good news to a lost world. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We're close right there. Praise God.